Right Speed. Now these guys do what is part of a crop of high-speed electric cars. That's right, and they've got a car that can go from zero to 60 in about three seconds. That's fast. Yeah, that's second fastest on the, on the road, actually. Uh, Ian Wright, what's his story? Uh, Ian Wright was, he was an engineer and he was a race car driver in his spare time, and now he's basically combined the two okay. and he's gonna start selling cars. Let's go say hi. This is a prototype electric sports car. It does zero to 60 in 3.07 seconds. It does zero to 100 in about 6.8. How's that compare to a Ferrari or oh, a Lamborghini or something like that? There's only one production car you can buy that's quicker mm -hmm. than this, and that's the Bugatti Veyron at $1.4 million. Okay. But all the Ferraris, all the Porsches, all the Lamborghinis are slower. Have you raced them at all, or have you? Yeah, um, the notches in the belt so far are Ferrari 360. Porsche Carrera GT. A Lamborghini Gallardo and a NASCAR. Wow, incredible. Now, where's the battery? Um, battery's this big black box here. The battery's about a third the mass of the car. Right. So, so you want to keep it just in front of the rear axle and as low as possible. You know, zero to 60 in three seconds on street tires is very hard to get. Yeah. So you need, you need some weight on the rear to do that. And this car, it's 68% weight on the rear. The one thing about electric cars, they are fast, but how come they're so expensive? Batteries are expensive. Yeah. There's $40,000 worth of cells in this car. Are the prices going down at all anywhere? Or? For the high performance batteries, not really. What's happening is the batteries are getting better every year at about the same price. Now, why are they faster than gas car? I mean, you're, you're beating Ferrari and Lamborghini. They've been around for a good hundred years. And... There's a couple of interesting things. Um, electric motors have a very, very wide torque curve. In this case, it, the, the motor makes full torque, 182 foot-pounds at zero RPM. And 182 foot-pounds is not a big number, but the point is um, it'll do that from zero to 110 miles an hour in one gear. But the second thing is it's a very light car. The whole car is 1,536 pounds. The real mantra of the company is there's no trade-off between performance and efficiency. I mean, this car does the equivalent of 170 miles per gallon, and yet it's faster than anything Porsche or Ferrari make. So the power, the performance doesn't cost you any efficiency. It doesn't cost you much weight either. So you might as well do it. Right. Because people like performance. They pay for that. The cool thing about this car is that it's as quick as a good race car, but it's very pleasant to drive around town. Yeah, I mean, because if we were in a race car right now, it'd basically be vibrating constantly. Yeah, it's noisy, they're hard to drive in this sort of application, and of course they're very thirsty, but you know, right now we're doing the equivalent of better than 150 miles per gallon. What kind of maintenance in an electric car? A lot less or? Oh, very much less. Um, in this car, it's basically tires. Yeah. So I've done five and a half thousand miles, and this is the fourth set of tires. It feels different than a gas sports car. You don't have that lurching. And you can be cruising along like we're doing now, 30 miles an hour, nice and quiet, and just go. <laughs> For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.